Are you guys aware that uh, that we have new women's tag team champions? And it, I is, heard Ra- that. it is Raquel and Dalia. Mm. It's Raquel. You know the funniest thing about Raquel and Aaliyah winning the tag team titles is? What's that? <laughs> besides the fact that I thought there was zero chance, and I think everybody else that has a brain thought there was zero chance. They're doing this match last night. And I don't know what Aaliyah did, but the announcers say, her inexperience is showing. I thought, bro, she's been in the system for nine years. Might be eight years. It's eight or nine years. And she's been wrestling for almost... A decade. But her inexperience was showing. And, you know, Dave on Observer Radio last night says, well, you know, they really want to get over uh, Raquel. I was like, well, why didn't she get the win with her move? Aaliyah got the win. And the only thing I can come up with was they figured that it would surprise everybody. Which it did. I was surprised. But... Let's be honest here. I like to be surprised in ways where it's better or it makes sense or it's leading to something. Here's the deal. Sasha and Naomi are are coming back, okay? And they're really trying to push this women's division hard. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't just want to see women on TV. That's all fine and good. But you got some really talented women. You've got... I mean, in the finals of the tournament, you had Dakota and the former Io Shirai, for crying out loud. Sasha, whatever you want to say about, you know, whatever issues there are. I mean, she's she's an excellent worker. And, you know, Naomi's been hit or miss, but she's had some really good matches. And she's been around forever. And, and with the right people, she can look good. And you've got uh, Bailey and Alexa and Asuka. And when you look at that, all of those three teams that I just mentioned, you can do quite a well-worked, good promos. You can do some real good stuff for months. But instead, they put the belts on Raquel, who is, in fact, still green, and Aaliyah, who is, in fact, still green after I don't even know how long. Neither of them are, are great promos. Aaliyah's had a few matches of late that have been... Let's be honest. Bad. But this was their idea to surprise us. They surprised us with something where it's like... And then one other thing. Somebody said, well, you know, maybe as a condition of their return, Sasha and Naomi demanded we got to get our belts back immediately. And so they're just going to go in and beat Aaliyah and Raquel. Which, like, if that's the case, I mean, you can do that if you want to. But I mean this in the nicest way possible. Unless you're Marks, you have to understand that Sasha and Naomi coming back and chasing heels for a couple of months to win their titles back is a way better story than them walking in, winning their belts back, and then the heels are chasing them. I know it really doesn't matter all that much. I know there's not money nowadays in a chase, but it's a better story that they're trying to get their belts back that were stripped from them than just walk in, get them, And then, oh, here's all these evil heels trying to take our... I don't know. Who cares? But I was surprised and not in a good way last night. Especially because what are going to be the better matches? Sasha and Naomi against Aaliyah and Raquel? Or, honest to God, if if this was a different administration like the last one, I would figure they just did this so you could have Raquel turn around and turn on Aaliyah. I mean, honestly, because that's... Usually what they do with these types of teams that they slap together and they have eyes on one person and not another because maybe they're trying to get what they can get out of Aaliyah, you know, before they start doing cuts or something. Because, again, I she's been there a long time. This is the most they've done with her. I don't know if she has at a level where they, again, when you start naming names, Charlotte, Bianca, Bailey, Sasha, where does Leah fit? When you start looking at names that could be coming, your Tiffany Strattons, your Zoe Starks, people that they really like, like Lash Legend, like Nikita Lyons, start going, okay, well, where does Leah? how long is she going to be here? How long can she fit here? What can she contribute? And I hate to, 
I hate to do that, but I mean, really, that's what I was thinking about her before this. And okay, if you're going to give her a shot, that's fine. I just don't know if this thing is going to work, and I don't know if it's going to have the impact that they want it to. But you know what? I don't know their story yet, so I'll wait and see how they decide to let it play out. But I also started to wonder if Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons were in this thing, how far were they destined to go? Because you have somebody with a little more experience who can do a little bit more like Raquel can, and at least is more comfortable in her position, and you have somebody that probably shouldn't be on the main roster, and that would have been Nikita Lyons. I wonder if they could have been a possible winner to this whole thing, especially because they call up Toxic Attraction. And again, I, I don't know, maybe they would have had to beat somebody else in the finals, but I wonder if this was just about putting belts on a team that people didn't expect or they actually had eyes on bringing somebody up, and then they, you know, things happened the way they did. You know, Tom, it was abundantly clear this week that I just don't get enough respect. Excuse me? I feel I deserve a little bit of credit for your, your recent success. You want to take credit for my victory in the G1 Climax? You can fuck off. Why don't you put your money where your little mouth is and get in the ring with me? No. If you, if you really want to take credit for this shit. There's a tweet from August 3rd. Who wants to make it happen? I'll team with Debbie Malenko. Why don't you call up Billy Starks and why don't you step in the ring against me and her, huh? I'll text yeah, her right. right now. I'll be in Chicago all out weekend. How about that? I'll call up Mikey. The black label? Yeah. Debbie, are you available all out weekend? Look at those arms. Brian's not even in ring shape for this. Show me yours, Tom. Huh? Look at this. Go back and forth, huh? Go back. Jared, put yours up. Go back. 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 Oh, yeah, who's not in ring shape now, motherfucker? She can't do it. She can't do it? She can't do it. This is like when we grappled, Brian, and you clearly tapped. Oh, fuck off. I... What a dick. Oh, so now now you're getting fired up? Well, fuck, dude. You know, we can settle God. this. God. We can settle this. You meet me in Chicago. Buddy. I'm I'm in. You've agreed. Yeah, I've agreed because you don't have Basically. a fucking partner. I will beat your ass silly. <laughs> yeah. I'm texting him right now. Mikey. By the way, okay. Yes, all caps. I'm not the only killer that you're going to be in there with, Brian. Killer Kelly. See you in Chicago. Although I, I was just alerted that the show is at 11 o'clock p.m., so I, I may have to pull out. That's past my bedtime. So if you're going all out weekend, Black Label Pro, Friday, September 2nd. I can't wait to beat your ass. Not going to happen. It's been years in the making.